Welcome back to another episode of Media Talks TV with your host, Tony J. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, notifications. Make sure you like this video because we got more coming. You know, you got to excuse me of uh, the... It's kind of like, you know, this, this video is kind of like it's coming in slow because I've been busy with a lot of things. But, you know, over the last week, uh, we had a significant loss in the industry. Uh, just a couple of, couple of months ago, I did the 50th anniversary of Good Times and why Good Times was important to the culture. Uh, make sure you check out that video. But um, today is going to be a, a special tribute to Mr. John Amos. The first TV dad, he passed away at the age of 84. Um, this announcement came almost a month after he died. Uh, he died back in August. But um, John Amos was an amazing actor, very dynamic actor. Did a lot of things on TV during a time when America was still going through a transition of being an integrated society. At the time when John Amos came on TV, there had not been any black leads or, you know, black main characters. And when he got his first gig at the Mary Tyler Moore show and that catapulted him into being on good times and being really because the, the responsibility for the imagery was on him being the first black TV dad on television in 1974 and the reason why that was so powerful, of course, is because we never had seen anything on television reflected in, in Black fathers. And at the time, even in many interviews, John Amos had said that, you know, they wanted to kill that imagery of black men abandoning their families and that's how he came up with the whole idea for James Evans being on TV even though it was Esther Rose that really suggested that they have a husband in the picture because at first they were going to make uh, Florida a single mother but Esther Rose insisted that her character have a husband, and if they didn't give a, give her a husband, then she wouldn't do the series. She's very adamant on on creating an image. Both actors came out of the Negro ensemble. Came from theater, black theater during a time of transformational change in this country. And then we get James Evans. And when you talk to a lot of black men, even today, uh, James Evans is one of those characters that everybody will say that was the first TV dad. That was the first black father before Bill Cosby, before Cliff Huxtable became America's TV dad. That when we talk about black fatherhood and being a father and dealing with the ups and downs of life, that was what John Amos represented for the character of James Evans. He was a man of uh, pride and resilience and being able to deal with the trials and the tribulations of life that life had handed him. And that was what was so interesting about the James Evans character. 
Now, you know that he went on to play the older Kunta Kente and Roots. And then as time went on down the line, he got his gig with Eddie Murphy and coming to America. And, you know, then after reconciling with Norman Lear, Uh, the the show Hauser Street, I forgot the name seven seven four one Hauser. He got that show in the nineties, and that that kind of went to reconciling working with Norman Lear. But one of his greatest portrayals was, which I believe is is so important, because I don't think people understand. You know, John Amos played. army characters every movie that i saw john amison he was playing somebody in the military a five-star general or commander of an army and that's one of the things that really kind of looks at the testament of who john amos was that he didn't just take any old role that he was really serious about his craft and portraying the imagery of strong black men and you know I can't forget his character portrayal in the West Wing as General Fitzwaller and I, I, I thought General uh, Fitzwaller was one of the strongest characters five star general I believe he was based off of Colin Powell but that 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 character in In the West Wing, I really love that character because you saw John Amos in his older years play, of course, a man of stature and a man of integrity. And that's one of the things that is so seldom seen in acting right now as far as making sure we preserve the integrity of black male imagery. And... John Amos was one of those guys that that really transcended the stereotypes of black men. He transcended those stereotypes because he knew how heavy of a role that he played and how America perceives black men. So to see John Amos go from playing James Evans to then going uh playing a role in uh coming to America as an entrepreneur and then to go from that to playing General Fitzwaller on the West Wing. I, I thought that this is, this is how we should be going in that direction as far as protecting the integrity of the black male image. And that's somebody that, that, that that's somebody who John Amos is all about. That's what John Ames is all about. So, you know, this has been a, a wild year. We've lost James Earl Jones. And we've lost John Ames, two amazing black actors that really held up their strength on the screen. They will definitely be missed. I will definitely miss watching them on TV. But you know, with old age comes a certain set of wisdom and, and understanding of why they played the characters that they played. But this is this is what what it means to be really a black man in a position of power in the sense that John Amos and, and James Earl Jones, they commanded respect in their fields across all races of people, white and black. And they were a and they were able to command that respect by the roles that they played. They didn't just take any old role. Because they didn't, they they refused to be typecasted. 
in particular roles. And that's that's what's one of the most important things about the preservation of black male imagery. And they will definitely, definitely be missed, but they leave behind a legacy of a body of work that will transcend generations. I'm Tony J. This has been another episode of Media Talks TV. I'm out. Peace.